and welcome to AMB Bronze 23 part 2 um, in case you're joining us without watching part 1 uh, we've reached level 24 running story through as far as Andera so that we could collect Eileen as a companion um, between episodes I have recrafted the gear plus created some jewellery so we've got haste and experience pretty much uh, across the board on just regular gear, movement speed and experience on boots and pants. Uh, the necklace is also haste and experience and we've got extra golden experience on the two rings. Uh, Fire Lily, we've got haste experience, extra golden frost damage, these are extremely low values and not really adding much to uh, our overall stats but we've got the Fire Lily for the increased damage by 500% and exactly the same stats on the Violet Wind Spirit and that's here for its 15,000% weapon damage area of effect once we hit 10 stacks which will become quite useful when we start running trials which is what we'll do to reach level 70 today um, abilities look a bit of a mess at the moment Frostbolt at level 3, Fireball at level 3 for the uh, splash damage that it does Immolate at 3, Blizzard because it does a bit more damage than Frost Nova for levelling. Um, time Warp's just there, I probably won't be casting it since everything should die fairly quickly in any case. Um, Endurance, Fleet Footed and Celerity and we've got Frost Nova and Glass Cannon levelling their way up to 3 as we go. Um, three healers so two Maggie's one Eileen and we are jumping into trials we are level 24 troll 2 has level 20 enemies so our experience game won't be as good as it will be for the trolls that follow this but uh, everything should be one hit as we run around in this map We'll just fireball them down. Um, we've got eight stacks up here, so let's try and get things near us for the area of effect that just took most of them out. there easy enough and level 27 um, what does that do doesn't unlock anything we'll get frost beam at level 30 uh, so we've got some treasure to stick away in here until we're level 70 we'll do that uh, a book of learning which I'll stick down there that for salvage and some basic materials so we can go in there so now we're level 27 facing level 30 enemies so our experience gain is going to be so much better but we will still continue to one hit everything which is nice Uh, our next attack is going to do an area of effect so let's get everything near us and they're all dead <laughs> and same again here let's try and get things all grouped up around us for that area of effect We need to find a few more enemies. Typical, not down that one. And we're through. Lost a bit of time hunting down those last few enemies. Um, so, some resource crates for hitting level 30. And 
I need to craft new gear so we'll pause the video while I do that just so we don't end up with a ridiculously long video uh, and I will see you again shortly and welcome back so all I've done is swap in since we unlocked frost beam I've dropped that into there uh, but everything as far as regular enemies goes will be one hit with fireball and then maybe we'll just hit frost beam when the boss spawns some elites that survived uh, let's start rounding up a group Um, nice and quickly and uh, level 43 so I think I am just going to do the weapons for this next one rather than keep crafting new armor and then we'll do a full set of new gear um, once we've run the Troll 5, so there's our sword, and we want not a staff, we want an arcane offhand and a tome. And what did we unlock? Blink, which we don't really care about. Death from above is our next important one. Um, currency booster, experience booster, treasure. Throw those in there. Currency and experience. Um, I do want to see what we've unlocked. Normally I buy this, um, but I'm not going to this time. Purely because I have so many gemstones now on the main account, and I think we'll gain enough in this event that I'll end up regretting if I blew another 125 gems on those <laughs> is this a donut? no we want to be heading up if we can find a spot that uh, isn't hitting a hitbox on an enemy so I can actually move beam so I will pause the video a three hour book that's nice places tempestus by a two as well that's handy um, the amount of lag that I'm getting from dragging things around there I need to restart the game as well so I will pause the video, restart the game and craft new gear so, and I probably need to replace this jewellery, I should have done that at level 40 if I do that now that will take us through to 70 so I shall do that as well and we'll meet back up once that's all done and welcome back 
Uh, stats the same on everything apart from the jewellery. I've got pure experience on the necklace. Uh, I've got experience extra gold on one ring and hasten experience on the other. Uh, gives us four hits per second up there. And we're running at 1861 on experience gain. So hopefully we have one last set of gear to craft once we're sort of level 60 something and that will be it until we're 70. So troll 6 are level 60 enemies. That's interesting, so we don't kill everything straight off. That's going to be quite good then. And the reason I say it's quite good is because we can use our um, can't think of the name of it, via the wind spirit area of effect. No, we can't hit them. <laughs> That's why when we're on push maps I try to avoid these desert things because there's just too many obstacles on them. And we've done that. That got us to 55, so we get a 100% experience booster. Um, I did make one event shop purchase down here, something that I always take advantage of, uh, which you won't see on here now because I've bought it. Um, so look at that frost bolt, no, so that's a rubbish one. Um, it's the two. 200% experience boosters with two currency boosters and that's 400 gems uh, but it's a good deal because the experience boosters on their own would be 400 gems so it's two free currency boosters um, where are we trial 7 broken dragon and level 70 enemies These swamp maps are my favourite for very high level Kara fights because you can kite her around these. Um, let's try and get in the middle of a group because this next attack has that Vial of the Wind Spirit that just went off. Same here, so let's grab in some elites as well. Ooh, not quite enough enemies pulled. There we are, broken dragon. And down it goes. So level 61 achieved. We have unlocked death from above, but I'm not going to equip that until we have uh, Grand Magister's command weapons in place. What I will do is put power infusion down there. Uh, so we've unlocked all the skills. Once Blizzard and Celerity have finished their upgrade, I'm going to be doing Frostbeam and Death from Above. Focus them. That's handy. I'll keep saving those. Let's 
open that. I do need new gear, so we'll pause the video, craft new gear, which will see us through to 70. I'm wondering whether to craft Grand Magister's Command. I'll make my mind up about that off camera. Uh, see you again shortly. And welcome back. So, Troll 8, which is probably as far as we'll go in terms of Trolls for experience farm runs, uh, for getting to level 70 at least. These hits do feel quite weak compared to what I normally have, but then I would normally have upgraded that ability, Fireball, to about level 5 by now, so... Ooh, wrong ability, never mind. We should really be one hit in these groups. Um, but uh, that'll do. We have to run away from that, run out of that. <laughs> It'll just die way up in the air. <laughs> Uh, so that gets us to level 66, maybe two more runs will be required, I'm not sure. We might get there with this one. Um, I'm saving all this up for Mass Salvage, is that an Igneous? Oh and it's got experience and we've got some Glaces Tempestus down here. Uh, it's tempting but I'm not going to use them just in case you're following along and do not have those or if you've if you've not bought the celestial crate then you won't have the marker titans to craft them so I'm not going to jump in with special effect weapons at this late stage Oh, wrong skill. That was meant to be Blizzard. <laughs> there we go. So there's uh, a couple of hits to take down. Uh, everything's a bit scattered on this map, isn't it? finish him off. <laughs> uh, yeah, one more run, level 69, so, and another Igneous with experience on it. We are blessed. Uh, good thing is that we'll hopefully get us some extra marks of Titans, not that we need them, because I did buy that crate in the first episode. Um, question is do I want to run the full trial and the answer is probably yes because otherwise we'll have to run it again to unlock higher level trials after hitting level 70 which we have hit flat things very quickly here. Can we get Alban down before his life drain? Yes. So there we are, level 70 reached. 
so we get some glory for that we get this custom ephemeral cube I will probably be using those um, why have we only got one of these we normally get two on the way up to 70 interesting there's one and we should have got one at 60 if I put it somewhere else or did I open it by mistake <laughs> I'll have to watch the video back to find out why I've only got one of those um, so we can do a mass salvage of all of that gear that we've been accumulating as we level to 70 and we didn't get any marker titans so that's a bit of a shame and we'll open these there won't be anything useful in there but it will get us some more crafting materials so that's all good and it's all level 70 gear so we should see a decent amount of essences and greater essences coming out okay no greater essences but we've got some essences so that'll do um, I think that will wrap up this episode champion level 20 I will not be doing anything with this character uh, in terms of playing it now for probably three or four days um, what I will be doing is jumping on this character who will be running the daily quests so for example our have we got a really short one uh, not really let's go to Eldereth so we'll be running daily quests on this character which is just a case of even though we've seen this quest on the event character oh, just too late with that one we'll come down here we'll do a big shatter I should have picked that mushroom while I was there that mushroom there it still didn't collect it so you click on it and it does nothing So there's plenty of them around and we'll finish this level so with that done on that character I can then jump back on to the event one and I should be able to turn that quest in on this character which gets me 10,000 gold and 200,000 experience so it's going to get us some champion levels without actually using up our event timer down here so another three champion levels for free and it gets us a bit of gold up here which is going to be handy for the first or helping build up our first experience farm set um, which will probably start off as a combined experience farm gold set just until I've got enough gold to craft a full legendary set um, so that is what I'll be doing for the next four days um, any questions or comments feel free to put them down below and as always thank you very much for watching